Hey fragrance family, I'm David and I'm a fragrance bro. Coming at you with another fragrance review, this time on Yesterday Haze by Imaginary Authors. Now as you can tell, this time I'm by myself, uh, but I have a couple of things I want to try to bring in this review. I'm kind of bringing in the fragrance brotherhood. So I have some uh, people that have given their comments and we'll read those later. Uh, my wife is not here today. Um, she is off with the kids, so she let me do some reviews, but she'll be back. She's just not with me for a couple of these reviews. All right, so let's get straight to the fragrance. Uh, date introduced is this year, 2014. It's classified as a woody floral musk. Notes are fig, iris, cream, tonka, walnut bitters, tree bark, and orchard dust. Now I would say I get mostly excellent longevity out of this fragrance, but with one caveat, is that about the six hour mark kind of just becomes a skin scent. And you can get whiffs of it here and there, but mostly it's kind of just, it's kind of just on fumes. So you might consider that something else. Um, but it lasts up until like, I got like 10, 11 hours out of it, uh, which is excellent. Projection is on the average side. It's not like a really strong fragrance, but I actually kind of like that about this, and we'll go into that later. Season, I would say this is best for spring and summer, and mostly daytime. And purpose, this is probably just best for casual. Now, what does this remind me of? Um, I've probably said this before, but I really think that Josh Meyer, uh, the perfumer and creator of Imaginary Authors, is really the king of fresh fragrances. Fresh fragrances seem to be kind of a very hard genre of fragrances to do without going into the generic territory. And uh, Josh Meyer really pulls off fresh fragrances with a lot of uh, uh, fresh ideas and a lot of creativity and I really, really enjoy his fragrances for that reason. Now the scent itself is very figgy and fruity. It has a lot of sweetness, it has some woodiness, um, it has a little bit of creaminess in there. Uh, it's a very full bodied fragrance for, for its type of scent. And the fig itself, you know, I've talked a lot about fig and um, the, fig, the fig note in this seems to uh, run the gamut of the spectrum of, of what fig is considered to be in perfumery. So on one side you have suntan lotion. So you have a very coconutty type of um, uh, fig experience from the fig leaves. And then, then you go to the, uh, the fig fruit and uh, that's kind of this, this sweet, um, the sweet note, very fruity note in there. And then also you get uh, the fig, the actual fig leaf itself. A lot of fig fragrances get it wrong in that it goes more towards the coconutty side or suntan lotion side. It doesn't actually smell as leafy and, and realistic as a fig uh, tree or fig leaf actually does. Uh, but I think this in some ways does capture that and I really like that. It captures um, the whole essence of the tree but without trying to. So I really actually appreciate it for that reason. And I know there is a, a apparent orchard dust note in there. And uh, what I like about this fragrance is that it does smell like it has its secrets. And uh, which a lot of his fragrances do. And they have these notes in there that aren't there, but uh, in reality, but they smell like they're there. And although I probably don't have any experience smelling what actual orchard dust smells like, it does have kind of a little dusty feel to it. And uh, which is interesting, it, it's not overpowering, it's subtle. Uh, but it's there and you can smell it a little bit. But right away you get a lot of fig and you get a lot of sweetness to go with that fig. And the more I wore it, the more I realized that it's probably sweeter than I thought it was going to be. And that may turn some people off. And I, gladly this fragrance isn't super loud. Um, it just sits kind of in the average range, which I'm really appreciative of because I think if it was really, really loud, I think it would, it would, it would be cloying. And it borders cloying to me. But I don't think that's necessarily bad here. It, it works for what it is. It's just very sweet. Uh, so tread lightly if you don't like really sweet scents or if you don't like uh, scents that you may, you may think are cloying. There is kind of a creamy nature that kind of pervades the fragrance from top to bottom, which is really nice. And as the fragrance dries, it goes more into the walnut territory. Walnut's not a, a note that I hear a lot of in perfumery, and I actually like it in here. Um, it's not very edible like I like some people might think it is it just adds kind of like this 
woodiness to it. And it is a little bit nutty. And if you're familiar with the smell of walnuts or if you eat walnuts or like walnuts, you'll be able to tell right away that it's in there. But it's not super strong. Actually, a reviewer friend, Joey Maisky on YouTube, I'll have a link down to his channel down below. He actually told me on Facebook that this reminds him of somewhat of pure wood. And I can actually see that a little bit. There is a slight similarity because of the the woodiness and the dry down with the walnut. It does actually kind of have this 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 subtle um, kinship to pure wood, but they don't smell alike. They're not clones at all. It just kind of shares a little bit of a similarity. Now, as for compliments, I do think this is probably actually a compliment getter because it's on the unique side of things. It's very pleasant and enjoyable. And I think typically people like. Uh, very pleasant and even sweet scents. So I do think that you'll probably get a lot of um, uh, compliments out of this, or at least notices. My wife, though, did not like the opening. She really hated the opening. She doesn't like coconut as a scent very, very much. And so whenever you have a, a fig leaf note in there, she doesn't really care for that. But she did like the dry down. She liked the dry down a lot and said it was really nice. Um, and I would have to agree with her. I think the dry down, to me, is also my favorite part. Bank for Buck, this is $80 for a 60 ml bottle, and I think that's a great deal for what you get. Uh, he, he really prices his fragrances really competitively, and I think you get a lot of value for what you get in his line. And I think that really shines in this fragrance too. It's very unique, uh, it lasts a long time, and it's very pleasant and enjoyable. I really think that you're gonna like it. Final rating, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. It didn't really strike a resinous chord with me uh, as far as the love, but it is very nice. And uh, as we'll read in the comments uh, in just a moment, a lot of people love this scent. I think with good reason, it's very nice. So most of you know that I have a Fragrance Bros page on Facebook, and I'll have a link down below. And I had a status update that I polled people and I said, what do you think of Yesterday Haze by Imaginary Authors? And so I wanted to get their opinions and put it in here. Since I don't have another uh, person sitting next to me for this review, I wanted to add some more value and give some more opinions about this. So Alan Alvarez, who also has a, a YouTube channel, I'll have a link down below, great guy, hilarious too, by the way. He said that it reminds him a lot of Valentino Uomo, uh, but more sour. Um, and I don't necessarily get that, but I do kind of see what he's saying. It does have a lot of a sweet a sweetness to it, but I don't really necessarily uh, get the Valentino Uomo thing. Tammy Holobar, who is a, is a wonderful lady, said that it is one of the best fig scents um, on her skin and she loves the dry down with a dusty orchard note. Ryan Huerta said it's like a moth to a flame burnt by desire and he can't stop sniffing it. So that's good. Julie Price lerves it and said it's become the favorite of the line for her. And last but not least, Ben Lee says no idea, never tried it. So that's all I have for Yesterday Haze. Let me know what you think of Yesterday Haze if you've tried it before. Do you like it, love it, hate it, hate it, let me know. Let me know what you also think about the added commentary from Facebook. If you like that, I'll do more if you like it, so just let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe down below. I'll love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Daver with the Fragrance Bros. Bye.